like if you had your garments on but I'm bad at this. This is If you're going to confront somebody, please don't be like Carrie Karen over here. Let me wipe my non-existing tear. Never mind. It's time for love after luck up, baby. I don't only do love after lock up on this channel. I have an array of videos, hundreds of videos on other topics as well. I have different playlists. So if you want to go and check them out, go check them out. It's the same me spitting that realness on various topics, life related, just for life topics as well. So definitely go and check out my other videos too. Andrea and Lamar, things got heated for no apparent reason whatsoever. Like this was pretty juvenile and super unnecessary. The actionness was layered on thick today. Maybe it's because it's the season finale. Anyway, here we go. So it's like a Ghanaian themed thing. Ooh, it looked so good. Look at that. Ooh, they got a cake. They've got all this. Ooh, it, it just looks so good. I wish I was there, but actually not really because the drama is just ridiculous and kind of ruined the party, but yeah. Mm. Hey, what, what? What's up with the people? Glad you guys invited me. Glad you came. This is Shantae. She actually did come to witness the mess. The African queen is here. Yeah. They bow to me and kiss the ring. I will never do that. Um, you know, a lot of things were said. Oh, so the friend actually decides, you know what, let me just tell you, let me not make it real gossip, let me just come clean and tell you what actually went down. Let me tell you all the stuff that was said about you. Tonight, such as, you're not acting Mormon enough. What? You're not acting Mormon enough. A little bit of questions about how come your outfits are so short and you're not wearing your garments. Because I You're not wearing your garments. Actually, I wonder what they mean with that. Just like, I, I don't know if there's a specific dress code. I'll look it up and put it here. If there's a specific dress code that Mormons need to adhere to, um, or if they're just talking about in general, just cover yourself, make make sure everything is, you know, long enough, not too revealing, like in general. Show my body. Elegant. She likes to show her body. I mean, at least she's being honest. Luxurious, spiritual. She says her party is luxurious, da -da 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 -da, spiritual. They have, <laughs> I guess that's their, <laughs> their book lying there uh don't quite know what for but okay that's there and um yeah thank you okay but we're get it out Kyrie or karen as we'll call her very soon we're talking and we are a little concerned that you were wearing a dress that like if you had your garments on but i'm bad at this this is if you're gonna confront somebody please don't be like carry karen over here if you're gonna confront somebody please make sure you're tough enough to to do it and to bear the consequences because this chick is horrible at it say it say it we know andrea doesn't mind confrontation let's go i'm just concerned that you're not wearing your <laughs> that you're not wearing what was she saying about underwear one of them was saying something about underwear what garments and um i was just wondering what kind of underwear i'm wearing like I said, I can see how LA can change people and it's, and uh, can I speak freely and loosely? As you always do, go ahead. Raise your hand the last time you took a family in need groceries. I'll wait. Oh, she really went there. Oh, you guys think you're great Mormons? You think I'm not a good Mormon? Okay, when was the last time you did something that we're supposed to do as Mormons that, you know, probably nobody will see? How about that? What about that? The last time. Has it been within the last couple months? Um, no, but you've been gossiping about other people. No. The children just there like, we're going to stay out of this one. This is entertainment for us. What's going on? Because of Koro, they haven't been able to. Nah, people are still out here on the streets. You guys are having a whole party. Koro has not stopped you from doing anything, mama. Because me serving the Lord. I love. First of all, Lamar, please use this as the cover of your next album because I know that you rap and you make music. This looks kind of cool with the background behind it. But yeah, Lamar himself is like, I'm just gonna let this play out. I'm not gonna say our darn thing. 
Dakota ain't got nothing on the Holy Ghost. Ain't that the truth? Oh, that ain't no excuse. Walk a mile in my shoes and see how I serve the Lord, and then talk to me about what I do and what I don't do. I there's just, things that go on in my world and on the streets of LA I agree. that's not in this book. I have yeah. to earn it on my own. I have to teach these kids to not gangbang and that drugs aren't okay. That is where how it is everywhere. No, it's not. It's yes. different. If you think it's the same in Utah as it is in Washington, you are delusional. I'm so happy Andrea was able to say that because Andrea doesn't mind confrontation. So yeah, um, you cannot say it's the same everywhere. Everywhere? Everywhere, everywhere? You mean all around the world and where you are in Utah? Who even knows about Utah? Some Americans don't even know about Utah. Utah? Utah. <laughs> okay. You have no idea what's going on in the real world. Do you have fear walking to your mailbox or going outside oh, to your yeah, I have a fear box. Oh, please. Oh, please. What's your fear? What's your fear? My mailbox? It's a I mile away. Wait, 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 wait. And you're doing all this on her birthday. I know she's extra, but it was not necessary to do any of this on her birthday. Nobody deserves to have a crappy birthday. And when you have friends who are putting all the attention on themselves, even on the day of your birthday, as you're having a party, yeah, that's serious. That's just drama. If you are so self-centered all the time and you want it to be about you and you just want to be right and you just want to ruin every single thing that's good that you cannot even withhold yourself to do it even on this person's birthday hey don't mm -mm, that that this is no friendship man this is this is no friendship i mean andrea will probably tolerate the friendship but that's not how it's supposed to be no no tennyson's just like but this cupcake is good no, I hope you play. I because that's so disrespectful. I like it's so disrespectful. You just listen to that. Go through it. <laughs> Lamar's sitting back like, yeah, 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 yeah. You tell her, you tell her, because he's been living there and he knows that the dangers of living in LA compared to Utah. He lived there for a bit. Utah and LA. You want to compare the two? Why even bring this up? Why even debate this on her birthday? So unnecessary. So juvenile. But then Andrea is also going in and in and in. The other girl, the other friend, just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. everybody's just looking at them. It's just crazy. Your fear walking to your mailbox. I so disrespectful. You didn't let me don't finish it. No. I don't think it's disrespectful I, as much as it is ignorant. She just doesn't know much about the world, right? But hey, that's your friend. You should have taught her some things, you know. No, no, disrespectful don't now. No, no, disrespectful. Shantae is sitting there like, what did I even get myself into? I brought my children to this party, okay? Not only could this be a corrosive zest pool, but also why am I injecting myself and my family into this mess, this chaos? Like sure, she wants a relationship with her dad, but if this is the package that comes with it, this is, this is a lot. This is a lot. And your friends tell a lot about who you are. So these are Andrea's friends. And then Andrea herself is a whole, whoo! Um, yeah, I'm sure Shiva, uh, I'm saying Shiva, I'm sure, what's her name? Shantae regretted coming to this party, but the food looks good though. Oh my God, yes, I am. Yes, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. You, all of you are Mormons and you talk about garments and things, but you swear so much. Here's the thing. This is the thing about judging people, you know? Everybody's got their flaws. In any case, um, she's scared to go to the mailbox as well. Because why? She's out of shape and it's a mile to her mailbox. Okay, but that's a you thing. That's a you thing. You know, somebody could run that mile and within 10 minutes they're back home. That's a you thing. We're talking about LA where you could just be minding your business and the life could be snatched from people just minding their business for no reason it's dangerous okay the, the gangs are there the all kinds of nonsense goes on over there so yeah no we are not going to compare the two this is crazy i'm telling you hey this show might be super scripted but it sure is entertaining because this stuff does not seem realistic to me oh, you're mine. i'm afraid to walk down my street to go to my mailbox i could get run over 
Car. You can get run over everywhere and anywhere. People get run over in their own house. How many times have you seen cars just skirt skirt into people's houses? That happens. You can get run over anywhere and everywhere. So that's a weird comment. Just because I don't have the same problems as she does doesn't mean that my problems are any less important. Yeah. 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 Yep, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are the type of people who will tell you, oh, you're dealing with racism. I am too. See, because, you know, um, yeah, sometimes I get treated unfairly and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, no, this is this is definitely the type of person who just, just turns everything around and makes it about themselves. And that can be very exhausting. I don't know if it's I don't know who to have empathy in this case. What what are these people on? What are they even talking about right now? Why is this so important in this very moment? You guys have all this amazing food. Just sit down and eat your food. But like literally. You don't understand what these foods don't do my That's true though. It's terrible. And it's terrible to see what the kids are exposed to. That's for sure. But why are you crying on your birthday now? She's gonna say. Oh. Then we have the friend trying to, uh, am I gonna cry? Can I force this tear out? Uh, it's not coming out. Oh well, never mind. I'm gonna show you. Oh no, never mind. Oh, I'm gonna cry. This is so sad. Let me wipe my non-existing tear. Never mind. Uh, Ridiculous. Girl, you live in a bubble. Mm -hmm. You are so naive. Mm -hmm. Please tell her that to her face as well. Here. Thank you to Andreas because they're different skin sorry I knew the black chick would come through and and give us some realness yeah you you, you will never go through the same stuff that Andrea goes through because you are privileged continue to not let them in your house these people are just mental as anything judgmental as anything this is stuff you see on the playground. Mm. I'm so sorry. Can I give you a hug? You can, but I'm not gonna hug you back. But gotta fight for my love. Mm. Gotta fight for my affection and attention. Mm. And also, just because the people came all the way from Utah to LA doesn't mean that, wow, these are ride or die friends and they're, oh my goodness, these are such good friends. Some friends will do all that. Mm -hmm. Some friends will do all that. Travel, do whatever, but they just want, they just want to see your city. They just want a tour guide. They just want somebody to say, this is this, this is that. Let me show you this. They just want somebody to show them a good time for free. It's true. It's true. It's very hard to weed out who are the real friends and who are not. Some people will just be around you because they can get something out of you or from you, you know, or because you're the token black friend. That could very well be the case. They got two. They they hit the lottery. They got two of them. Huh. In Utah, I didn't think that I was in a bubble, but I was. So I'm grateful for the experience since that I've had out here and all of the, the learning that I did. Like, I do not want to go back to Utah. So. I'm actually happy she's saying that because there was a whole back and forth. And there was a time I was like, why don't they just stay in Utah? Because LA is wild, but you know, she's loving it out there. So hey, as long as they can afford their rent, they can be safe, it is all cool. Who called you that? But why are you showing me? <laughs> she's I think she's also purposefully choosing these outfits for these people because before all this you remember we never saw in that that stuff that she was wearing in the limousine was just like whoa 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 I've had my ultra skinny days and even then I would not wear those um and when I say skinny look anybody type can wear anything that is not my business but you know at least when I was in my ultra skinny days it n naturally doesn't show off too much right curves and that because you don't really have them like that like that right so it's not as much that people are going to be like oh once you you get a bit curvaceous you know a bit thickums, 
then you know the, the, the eyes start to dwell and you you get more of that attention you know hey it's, it's her life it's her body she is the mom of three i ain't gonna say none <laughs> they've lived in utah all their lives and their struggles don't exactly equate to lamar's even yeah. moms because i just feel like a bunch of white mormon women getting together and trying to give advice pretty much advice is just not gonna work out we are going to Ghana. So then they announced that they're going to Ghana. That thing is really, really still happening. <laughs> Hello? This is Ghana calling. We do not want you it. You don't want it? You, you've heard about them coming? Ah, we have heard it and we don't, you don't want, want that. them to come there? No. Hey. Ah, How am I going to tell them? Me, I don't know. Don't tell care. them something. It's crazy over here. It's wild enough as it is. We do not have time. In Ghana. Hmm. All these people okay. coming here today, holiday, today no, mission. No, tell them. Now you tell them to stay away. I don't know how. Ah, uh, me, I don't know. Let's see, you know, they're enjoying here. They're coming to take our jobs. Yikes. Stepping on soil and kind of with my family, and I, I don't know. I, I just never imagined that for me. Okay, come so That's so sad. Like, from the time he was in prison up to night, he never imagined that his life would be this good and they're not even at the house you know they've rented some rooftop somewhere you know in la it's it's a lot it's a lot these people are doing well for themselves now they're having a little group hug moment and it's super cute and that is the end of andrea and lamar thoroughly enjoyed this couple some stuff may or may not have been scripted i've heard that andrea is an actress i've heard so many things but it doesn't matter because we can take life lessons from this right why were we watching things like uh fresh prince of bel-air the the hoxtables uh whatever married with children all these shows have things that you can learn from them literal things that actually can happen in real life so yeah we know it's fake or it might be in this case it might be fake i do not know but we can learn a lot from these people so, update, Andrea and Lamar and the kids are heading on a Mormon trip to Ghana. They're actually really going to do that. Thing. Okay. And Andrea's friends, Stephanie and Carrie, are hoping to join them. Won't that be fun? <laughs> I know about that one, but okay. That was the end of Andrea and Lamar. Thoroughly enjoyed meeting you all. It was uh, a pleasure. I've never seen somebody remove pictures from a wall before. That was very interesting. Um, yeah, family pictures from a wall, just like that. Just spare the moment. Let me just do that because I'm feeling angry. And then tomorrow I'm going to hang them all back up again. Madness, love. Madness. We've learned a lot from these people. What have we learned? Hmm. What have we learned? Well, for starters, um, we've learned that you can move anywhere and build a life there. Whether you're in the States and you want to move to a different country, because I know a lot of people that want to do that right now. Um, whether you're somewhere else, you're in a, in a little village and you want to go to the city, whether you're in the city, you want to go to a little village. There are certain things that it won't, it won't be there. Maybe safety won't be there as much. Maybe it will be there a lot. Maybe it's very peaceful, nothing goes on. Maybe it won't have the same foods, the same culture, whatever, but you always find something to eat. There will always find something to buy. There's not much you're going to miss because life is the same. Look, now Koro has showed us we can all have the same lived experience, kind of. Now I can go to the village somewhere and inside that village I can go to the forest and I'll say lockdown and these people will know what lockdown is because we're all experiencing the same thing. You will realize that we are all intertwined. It is all one world. You can move wherever. You can do whatever you need to do. And as long as your mindset is, I'm going to make it in this city. I'm going to make it here. I'm going to make it wherever I go. You will make it. Because these people moved. And at first I was like, mm, is that going to work? They've made it. They're fine. They're making it. So, yeah. And you can leave your bubble. Because sometimes that's very important, right? To leave your bubble and smell the roses. There's so much more to life than just living in a bubble. If there's anything I've learned from that, this is what I've learned from it. Um... I've also learned that you can have a mom that's extra and the kids turn out absolutely great. This, these kids turned out just amazing. So wise. Priscilla is adorable.
adorable. I really actually hope that one way or the other they come back because I'd like to really see about this rap career of Lamar. <laughs> and I'd like to see how Priscilla grows up because she is just cute as a button. But I can also understand if this is the last that we see of these people and that is also completely fine. Um, because, well actually, I would love to see their mission trip to Ghana. Oh, I would love to see that. I would really love to see that. So maybe they'll follow them there, but I think there's only so much you can follow these people, right? It's not like Teen Mom, where we're now seeing these kids being 10 and you're like, oh my goodness, how the heck, where did the time go? But they're still being a mom, right? Even though they're not teens anymore, they're still being a mom. We're still seeing how the effects of being a teen mom affects how they raise their children, even as they grow older, right? But with these people, it's like, okay, love after lockup. Okay, we've established these people are in love. It's really a thing. The person came out of prison. They really love each other. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, now, We've established that, this, established that the love is there. Now let's see how they can do this life together. Okay, and then we go into it, but like, how far can you go? I, I mean, there comes a time where these people just have to live their lives and without the cameras, because I think if you, even the Kardashians have figured this out, if you have cameras following you your entire life, that's not what's real and what's fake. Even the, a lot of these vlogging channels and stuff have figured that out, right? What's real life and what's fabricated and put on for the camera, right? To make things juicy. Because, you know, everybody's like, life is a little boring, you know? We like watching these reality TV shows because we think, oh my goodness, their life is so explosive and this and that. But you do realize that what they're showing us is over the space of a lot of months sometimes, or sometimes there's one eventful weekend, like the weekend where uh, with Sarah and Michael, when Michael came to the birthday party of his daughter, Rain, and a lot went down that weekend and I realized that they had just taken that weekend and spaced it over about eight weeks of showing love after lockup, right? Because there was so much that happened that weekend. Uh, Malcolm got to meet Michael, not at the party, but afterwards when they were at the crib. That was all in one weekend, right? So sometimes it's like that uh, with these shows and it, life is not this, this full of fun and excitement. All the time for them it's just like our regular lives so i want us to take that away as well um because these are normal people as well but yeah it was interesting seeing these people again i've rambled on for long enough so it was nice to see them i don't know if they'll come back but um hey ho in any case if you're not already part of this family make sure you hit thumbs up as on to the subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while you're at it i'll see you in the next video which will be tomorrow daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living right. God bless.